everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. So I'm doing this really deep cleaning for one of my friend's units because if you can see inside here, I took out this piece right here just so you could see it clearer. Look at the panel inside there in the middle and look how white it is, how it's just covered with mineral. This thing needs a really, that that is like neglect, guys. This is gonna damage the unit. In fact, if you look real closely over here on this side, right over here where my finger is right now, you can even see some moisture because if you don't keep up on the on the maintenance, you'll get moisture in through there. And again, it'll, it'll cause damage. And if you want to see what it should look like, here's mine. And see how the panel looks? It doesn't have all that mineral buildup on it. So let me show you how to do a deep cleaning today because it, it is going to be a little different. First, you need to get 200. Let's see, this is probably not a good angle because if I, if I tilt this, it won't look right but basically 200 milliliters of water. And it can be tap water, it doesn't really matter to me. And then you would need 60 grams of citric acid. And so to get 60 grams, let's see here. This is what I'm gonna do. This is a citric acid that I personally recommend. I'll put a link down below, just because it's 100% pure. A lot of the stuff made in China and whatnot, they do have other things in them, so I don't like to use them. And this one is really fine. I did a lot of research when I found this one. but So in order to get 60 grams, I'm going to need to do about four tablespoons. And I only have a half one here, so instead of four, I'm going to have to do like eight, roughly. So I'll put one... three that's a lot four five six seven I guess about about eight now this is because this is a half teaspoon Fills a whole teaspoon, I mean tablespoon, excuse me, tablespoon, then I would just do, it's basically about four tablespoons, guys. So it's about 60 grams of the citric acid. The little piece, I'm gonna just leave it out for now. So now we have it in there, but now I'm gonna wanna mix it. So I'm gonna grab like a little, little wooden chopstick. Because I want to I want it to dissolve first in the water before I pour it into the pitcher. And while I'm doing this, I want to caution you guys, do not put citric acid in this part of the unit. Do not do that, okay? Let's see here. Don't put any citric acid there and also do not put any citric acid on the bottom of the pitcher. This is strictly going to go on the inside only. And this is not a normal cleaning, so I'm using way more citric acid than I would normally need to use. For normal cleaning, you use about 500 milliliters of water with five grams of the citric acid, and it can just sit in there for like 30 minutes or maybe an hour. It's nice to swirl it around sometimes, like swishing the water to kind of loosen the stuff up. But in this particular case, we're doing a very deep cleaning because my buddy was not doing any cleanings and that's just a really 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 bad idea guys it'll damage the unit and you don't get all the hydrogen that you should be getting so and, it, and again it doesn't matter what kind of water you use even if it's distilled water you really still need to stay on top of these on the maintenance in order for the unit to last a very 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 long time i would say it's kind of like doing oil changes for cars you know you really want to do the proper oil changes regularly here hold on one second I think it's completely dissolved. Well, almost. I really want it to be really, really dissolved before I put it into the machine or into the pitcher. Do not put any citric acid in the machine again. Can't emphasize that enough. And that looks good to me. I don't see any powder there anymore. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it right into the pitcher. And now 
watch what happens. In fact, you can see it bubbling. Let's see if you can see it. All these bubbles that are coming up, if you can see them there, yeah, you should, you should be able to see them. I can hear it it's dissolving all that mineral buildup. So what you're gonna do is let it sit for like half an hour. And in fact, I'm gonna set my timer and then go by and swirl it around like this a little bit. And then come back and just check to see what the panel looks like. And then maybe in about another, you know, 10 minutes, just regularly keep swirling it around. You can probably do this for about one to three hours, depending on how the panel will look. So all you gotta do is look at it, it's pretty much that simple. Another tip, do not put this back on the machine and do not run the machine with any citric acid in this that will also damage it. What you wanna do actually is once you're done, you're gonna to wanna to rinse this pitcher out really, really good with regular water. Not one time, not two times. I would do it like three, four, five times because you don't wanna leave any residue of the citric acid once you're done with this cleaning. But I don't know if you can see it, but it's totally bubbling up here. It is really loosening up all that calcification. That is really, really going to work. But it's a really good idea to not let it get to this point. This is just way, way, way too far. Not a good idea, guys. You just have to do your citric acid cleanings, you know. Sometimes it's once a month, depending on how much you're using the unit. Some people have to do it every two weeks. It depends how, many, how much mineral you have in the water and also how often you run your machine. I only have to do mine about once a month. You can see it loosening up there. I'm going to swirl it around a little more. Yeah, you can still see the bubbles. I don't even know if you guys can hear them, but you can actually hear it. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you do a, a deep cleaning, guys. I'm going to let this thing sit here for, like I said, about half hour. You can even just wait 10 minutes and then swirl it around every 10 minutes. It's just kind of up to you, but I do recommend swirling it around a little bit. I do not recommend putting the, like if you had citric acid in the spoon, for example, do not put it directly into the pitcher. I definitely don't recommend that. I always recommend putting it in a separate container, properly dissolving it first, and then you can put it into the pitcher. So, all right, guys, I hope you're finding this helpful. And if you did, I see how it's... Totally bubbling all that citric acid on that panel. It looks kind of cool. But it's not good that it got to that point. <laughs> Whoa! It's a lot of mineral buildup. Guys, it's been about half an hour and I can look at the panel again. I can see that it's still bubbling, but I can also see, look how much cleaner the panel already looks. I can already see the difference. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swirl it around just to try to loosen up any of that buildup again. And I'll be back in another half hour. Guys, it's been about 45 minutes. I can see that it's still bubbling up which means I'm gonna to continue to just let it do its thing. I can see that the mineral buildup is a lot better, but still on the edges, there's still some. So I'm just gonna to continue to let it do its thing. One thing I would wanna warn you guys about, do not try to scrape the panel. That can also cause some damage. Swirl it around here. But yeah, definitely don't try to scrape it with anything abrasive. This thing is designed to just simply use a citric acid, which makes it a lot easier anyway. All right, guys, I'll keep on keeping right, you updated. Guys, it's been over an hour. I think it's been about an hour and 15 minutes, maybe an hour and a half. This part right here, just to mention, I kind of recommend that you don't take this out. I just was taking it out just to show you guys so that you guys could see the panel more clearly. But you can see now that it's after over an hour, very little bubbles now coming up. And look at the panel, so much better. You can see some of the stuff in the, in the water actually. And in fact, I think I'm gonna swirl this around a little bit more. But you can definitely see how much cleaner it is now. Look at that. So much better. In fact, I was doing a cleaning on mine too. 
Even though you didn't see any buildup, it had been about a month. So I decided to do a cleaning on that one. So all right guys, hopefully this kind of gives you a better idea of how to take care of the unit. And I think I'm gonna wait a little longer. I still see a few little bubbles. I think I'll probably wait another, I don't know, half hour or so. Okay, thanks for watching. Till next All right, time. everybody, I think it's been about two hours now. And now I see a much cleaner panel. Hopefully you guys can see the difference too. And I see very little bubbles. I think it's pretty much done. Though you know what? It looks so much cleaner, but I still see little bubbles. So I'm, I may let it sit there another hour, but it's basically all done. I hope you guys found this helpful. I am gonna like swirl it around a little bit more just to loosen everything up. But besides that, I'll probably just let it sit here a little while just because I don't need to have any water right now. But hopefully you guys found the video helpful. If you did, as usual, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. And sorry if I did a terrible editing job as I am usually not very good at it, but this time I had to try to do it because it took so much time. So all right guys, thanks for watching. Till hey next everybody, time. it's finally done. And so what I'm gonna do is do the final rinse. And I wanted to show you guys how I do it because you do not want to leave any residue of the citric acid in there. That's also not a good thing once you turn on the machine. So what I recommend is you rinse it really good. Dump it, rinse it twice. You do this quite a few times. You don't want to leave any little residue at all. I will probably do it like, I don't know, four or five times. Just make sure to really get it really thorough. Especially with such an extreme cleaning. I mean, this was not really a normal case. There was way too much buildup. You really shouldn't let your machine get to that point. But either way, anytime you do a citric acid cleaning, this is the way you do it. Do not scrape it with anything. Even if you think it's something soft, don't do it. You can damage the membrane. I, this whole video was to really show you guys how to do it correctly and hopefully not to get to that point. So I think that's good. And that's it guys, that's the final way to clean it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If you did as usual, support the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time on the next one.